Thanks for tuning into our podcast. We love having you here, and it's our mission to bring you all the latest and greatest tips, skills, and know-how to make you the best that you can be. We know that you have it in you, and we're going to show you how. Now, now, let's get started. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Pair Fair today. And as we look at our story today, it's a very interesting story is always, always make good choices. Make good choices when you assume people do certain things to you. So as we look at our story in a few seconds, we'll talk about this interesting story that we have today. We'll look at it, break it down, the what, where, when, why, how, how did this happen? And um, we'll be right back in a few seconds. Learn to appreciate. Once upon a time, there was a man who was very helpful, kind-hearted, and generous. He was a man who will help someone without asking anything to pay him back. He will help someone because he wants to and he loves to. One day while walking into a dusty road, this man saw a purse, so he picked it up and noticed that the purse was empty. Suddenly a woman with a policeman shows up and gets him arrested. The woman kept on asking where did he hide her money but the man replied, It was empty when I found it, ma'am. The woman yelled at him, Please give it back, it's for my son's school fees. The man noticed that the woman really felt sad, so he handed all his money. He could say that the woman was a single mother. The man said, take these, sorry for the inconvenience. The woman left and a policeman held the man for further questioning. The woman was very happy but when she counted her money, later on, it was doubled, she was shocked. One day while the woman was going to pay her son's school fees towards the school, She noticed that some skinny man was walking behind her. She thought that he may rob her, so she approached a policeman standing nearby. He was the same policeman, who she took along to inquire about her purse. The woman told him about the man following her, but suddenly they saw that man collapsing. They ran at him and saw that he was the same man whom they arrested a few days back for stealing a purse. He looked very weak and the woman was confused. The policeman said to the woman, He didn't return your money, he gave you his money that day. He wasn't the thief but hearing about your son's school fees, he felt sad and gave you his money. Later, they helped the man stand up, and the man told the woman, Please go ahead and pay your son's school fees, I saw you and followed you to be sure that no one steals your son's school fees. The woman was speechless. Moral, life gives you strange experiences, sometimes it shocks you and sometimes it may surprise you. We end up making wrong judgments or mistakes in our anger, desperation and frustration. However, when you get a second chance, correct your mistakes and return the favor. Be kind and generous. Learn to appreciate what you are given. And as I look at our story and I I just marvel at certain things that happen in the story is how the police, how they believe the lady that the man stole her purse, he stole her money, didn't just steal a purse, had the purse, had the purse, he had the purse, but the money was gone. And so how people just will jump to conclusions that, oh my gosh, he has my money. He doesn't look the part, so I know he must took it. How many of us have ever fallen into this trap where we are just there and things happen and people assume that, oh, if you're there, you must be the person who did it. It's unfortunate how it happens a lot in life to a lot of times, a lot of people. But sometimes you have to change these misfortunes into fortunes and sometimes you'll get a bad break and you have to be patient and, 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 and stick with it. I'm thinking about the situation I had just recently. I had a situation where I had to be extremely patient. I don't know if it was patience or laziness. I, I'm just trying hard to figure that out. Patience or laziness. I don't know, but I wanted to solve the problem with a lot of thought. I wanted to solve the problem going into it because I didn't really know how to solve the problem. So I had to do certain things. I had to get certain materials. I had to be patient. I had to save up some money. I had to do certain things that require knee-jerk reactions that I really didn't want to do. I didn't want to make a knee-jerk reaction and then pay for it later. 
So as I thought about this problem, as I thought about certain things that I was going through, and as I, as I worked with this problem, I, I, I broke the problem down. There's like seven different things I had to do. And as I look back and I just said, you got to be patient. And, but I didn't want to do that. I want to blame everyone for this problem. I wanted to blame everyone that's around me for causing this problem. And I want to blame this person, that person, this person, everyone that, that would ever come in contact with this machine. As I watch myself and as I watch certain things, as I watch myself and I said, this is a time for you to grow. This is a time for you to grow up and, and, and understand what you're doing. So today I finally put the project together, put it back where it was and it's, it's working, working tremendously. But I had to learn a lot of things about myself. I had to learn how to be patient with myself, I had to learn how to just be willing to, okay, it's fine. It happened. What are you going to do about it? Sit there and cry about it? And that's what happened in the story. I couldn't go out there and point fingers and, and call people in and say, this person did that, this person did that. It was on me to get it fixed. Just like the story, I, I like the story I had at the end, and, and I'm kind of skipping over a lot of parts of the story. In the beginning where the man was walking down the street, found the purse, picked it up. It was empty. The lady said, hey, that guy stole my money, went to jail. Next time, school, put money in there, school fees, whatnot. At the end, she was following her. He thought he was going to try to take her school fees away from him. They're like, no, 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 no. He's trying to protect you so no one else, you know. So sometimes as we walk around and, and we think that everyone's out to get us, and some people have that mentality. I was talking to someone yesterday and something, somebody did something to their friend. Someone did something to their friend and they were going to get that person who did harm to their friend. I said, wait a minute, that, that's really not your battle. That's someone else's battle. And they didn't understand what I was saying. Like it didn't make sense to them that if they harmed her, they harmed her. And I was like, you got to think. I don't know what that person may have said to that girl or whatever, or that woman or whatever the situation may be, but you can't go out all the time and blame this person, that person, because they hurt someone that you know, or someone that you, that you fairly trust. And that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to blame everyone. And I soaked around, be honest with you, I soaked around for six months thinking about how to fix this problem. Did the problem get fixed soaking around now? But when I put some action behind it, I put some action behind it and I said, okay, this is what it's going to be. This is how we're going to fix it. And we're going to take our time doing it. It's going to work out. It's really going to work out. It's going to work out fine. But I had to have some patience. I had to really um, think to myself, you can do it. And I think a lot of times with our self-talks that as I talk to myself and I remember a long time ago, just boosting myself up and blowing up. I call it blowing up my balloon. I have this little balloon that I blow up and every time it goes down, I blow it back up again. And because I realized with this balloon, when it's full, I feel good. I feel good. I have accomplished something that day. But if my balloon is weak and wimp and dragging around, that's how I feel sometimes. And sometimes you got to blow up your balloon and, and, and get yourself motivated. And this, and this podcast is all about motivating people, getting people to the next level and, and trying to understand what you're going through and trying to make sure that you are making good decisions for yourself. The lady who accused that man and, and kind of destroyed what he was doing, he's just minding his own business, but she was so focused on getting his fees paid for her son. She didn't care who picked the purse up. They were guilty. It was a rush to judgment. It's unfortunate. Good thing the people that were working with him, they knew that, you know, he told the truth. And that's one thing about a life is about telling the truth and being a good person and being honest. You don't have to always try to get over on people. And I see that a lot of times in this business I'm trying to do is, is people are trying to present this information out there, but they're not trying to be honest with what they're doing. Everything that I'm trying to produce and throw out there, I'm trying to live. I'm trying to do. Why? Because it matters. It really does matter. If I'm sitting here on my on my on, on my podcast and telling you this and this, and I'm I'm doing all this other stuff, it really doesn't make sense. I'm blaming everyone why I can't get a podcast out. I'm blaming that person why I can't get a podcast out. Is that is that going to help our show now? 
I can't blame. Oh, I forgot my recording equipment today. Oh my gosh, my 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 wife, my son, my daughter, my whoever. They they they're they're causing us not to have this podcast today. No. Let's not let's not play those games. And a lot of times that's what we want to do in life. We want to sit around and we want to blame everyone that's in the vicinity. And then we just want to point fingers and point, 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 point. Instead of saying, you know what? Just point this thumb at me and, and, and get myself together. And I know a lot of people don't want to hear that. A lot of people want to just rest on their laurels and, and, and say, you know what? Life is rough and I can't do anything about it. I really can't do anything about it. I want to do something about it, but I can't. You can do something about it. You can get yourself up, get yourself motivated. Listen to our, hey, if you're not motivated, you can't motivate yourself. Listen to our 24, 24 hour, seven days a week stream that goes and it's just pumping positivity out there all the time. Looked there today, I got a few more subscribers. I said, okay, that's a positive thing. Not much, but it's there. But if I'm going around and blaming, oh, the people aren't listening, people aren't doing what I'm telling them to do, it's, it's not my fault, it's your fault. Maybe I got to make better content. Maybe I got to get a, a better format. I don't know. I do know, but I got I to gotta stay after it. I have to stay after it and I have to really talk to myself and be good to myself and say, you know what? That way didn't work. Let's try another way. That way didn't work. Let's try another way. But the big the thing is you can't give up. You can't just throw your problems on everyone that's around you. I was somewhere one day and um, this is pretty gross as I, as I think about it. I was um, I was walking somewhere and um this person wasn't looking well. This person wasn't looking too well. And I said, oh, let me, let me go see what's going on with this person. They said, hey, are they okay? And they turned around. And they just had these brand new pair of shoes. They turned around and they, they threw up on my shoes. And I'm like, wow. Those are my brand new shoes. They're done now. And I said, well, you know, that's what happens. Can you blame that person because they're sick and they're throwing up on you? What are you going to do about it? You're going to get mad. Person could die a few, in a few seconds. It's okay. Wash them off, clean them up, move on. Those shoes aren't more important than a person's life. Help that person. Get that person to get some medical care. As we look and as we go through life, a lot of times that's what we do. We want to point fingers. We want to point fingers at everyone around us and just say, it's not me. It's not me. It's that person. It's that person. And I deal with a lot of people like that all day. And the people I have a lot of respect for are the ones who they say, this is a situation. I'm going to make the best of it. I'm going to deal with it. I'm going to overcome this problem. I'm not going to play around with it. I'm going to overcome it. Today, as I overcame my problem that I had with, with, my, with my machine, I feel extremely, you know, I feel extremely good, but I have to understand that I had to put a lot of time. I had to get a lot of time, a lot of effort and just believing in myself that I could fix this certain thing. I can't blame people for my problems. I just got to fix my problems. And that's what happens. I've, I've learned this. Um, I learned this struggle a lot, a lot of years ago. A lot of years ago, I, I learned this struggle. Uh, my father and his best friend, they should always take me fishing. And I never knew why we had to go every week. And I'm trying to do this with my son, but I used to tangle my line sometimes. And my dad would tell me and my dad's best friend said, well, you can fix it. You can get it out the way. You can fix it. And I was like, no, I can't fix it. And they said, you know what? That's how life is going to be sometimes. You're going to have your lines tangled up, but you got to be patient enough to stay after to get that line untangled. Now, if you know, you're in a situation where you don't need, if we catch any fish today, that's great. If you do, even better. Catch big ones, even better. But we're just out here just to get away from the work, enjoy yourself, enjoy the sunshine, hang out. But imagine if you needed that fish to come up and feed your family for that day. Yeah, well, that line would be untangled. You wouldn't be sitting there playing with it. You would get that line back out there because you never know when that fish may come by and want to bite your bait. And that's what happens a lot of times. We have our lines tangled up, but we don't want to do anything about it, but sit there and look at it and say, well, maybe next time, maybe next time I'll do it. I don't know. I just wait. I wait till somebody helps me. And they used to let me struggle and struggle with my line. Sometimes they would, you know, if it was taking too long and they saw that the knot was impossible. 
they would help me out. But for the most part, one of the things they were trying to teach me is you got to know how to problem solve. You can't always depend on people to um, point pe- point fingers at people and have them come rescue you all the time. You got to be a little bit more self-sufficient out here. As I put this podcast together and I put my life together, and as I think to all the things that I have to get done today, it's like, wow, but that's what you have to do. You can't point fingers and say, well, I didn't pay this bill because, you know, it's, it's their fault. They charge me too much. This and this, this and that. Had to pay a tax bill today. I said, okay, pay it. Let's move on. Got to pay another one in a couple more weeks. What's the big deal? I said, you'd rather pay that bill now or, or suffer the consequences? You can't blame other people for certain things. That's one thing I, as I look at this story and how that lady blamed people and that guy was just like, like you know what? I'm going to show you. I'm going to put money in your folder, pay for your son's fees, and I'm going to make sure that you're okay. But she didn't understand that. Sometimes when you're doing good things for people, they won't understand that. Just keep doing good things for people. Just keep whatever you're doing, keep it up. Don't worry about what they're accusing you of, whatever. If you know you did the right thing, you're going to be fine. But you know you did the wrong thing, you better watch out. And that's what a lot of us, what happened to us is we are making decisions that are the wrong decisions. We're pointing fingers. We're pointing elbows. We're pointing. We're talking about people, how they did us wrong. Ran into someone in the parking lot the other day. And they were talking about how someone didn't pay them for the last four months. They were working this job and someone didn't pay them. And they're trying to figure out, you know, what happened. The person today, you know, the person, he called the guy up. Guy changed his phone number. Got the right phone number. Called him up again. Changed it again. Got real frustrated. So he said, you know what? I'm going to give me a side job. I'm still going to have this job, but I'm going to have my side hustle too. I'm not going to just depend on this person because obviously this person really doesn't want to deal with me anymore. And that's what happens. Some things dry up, but you got to have a side hustle. You got to have something else going on with you. And I like that. You got to have something else going on. Myself, as I try to do different things, that's fine. That's fine. That's what it's all about. People are listening to this podcast. Those are the people we want. We want to have the mentality that if one thing doesn't work out, there's five or six other things that I know that are going to work out. And as I think about how I'm getting closer to a certain age to retiring at at um, at my present job, people say, aren't you scared? I go, nah. Nah, I, I, I got other things I can work on. I have plenty of things to fill my day with. It's just not the only thing I can do with my life. Maybe for you, yeah. For them, no. But I'm not going to point fingers and say, well, you know what? I could do this and do that. But that person's holding me back. That person's holding me back. I'm not going to have that finger pointing mentality of blaming everyone for my problems. Okay? So remember today as you go out, something happens to you. Let's not blame the whole world. Let's not try to sabotage people into bad, into worse situations. Okay? I want to thank you again for stopping by the pair fair. And I want to thank everyone who's listening and, and uh, encouraging us to do better and better and and as the platform gets um, more and more people listen to it, thank you very much. And we will see you on the next one. Bye bye. This week's episode has come to an end, but the fun doesn't have to stop here. If you have any questions, suggestions or feedback, head over right now to Twitter and Facebook and like, share and get involved. Join us next time.